everyone, I'm Miss Amber, and today we are looking at the difference between the Holy Spirit guiding us, which is conviction, and the enemy or the world allowing us to feel like we are bad or not good enough, which is condemnation. With me today, I have some supplies to help us better understand. I have several containers of uh, Play-Doh and some fun colors. Shout out Play-Doh, okay, it is amazing. And um, this green tray with me to also help us understand and this handy dandy marble. Now this marble is going to represent us today. Say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. That's weird, stop doing that. Okay, this uh, green tray right here is like our journey in life. I know. Whoa, Miss Amber, that's a really big thing to talk about and understand. Just trust me, I'm here to help us understand hopefully. Okay, so in life, our goal is to live a life that glorifies God. That looks different for all of us because we're all created to be different. Our paths are different. Some are longer than others. Some take us to different countries. Some lead us to helping all kinds of different people. But the end goal is to bring glory to God the same. That would be like um, this, this end right here. This is like the end of our path, right? So I actually have a little sticker with me here that says glorify God. So this is our end result to glorify God, right? So we all start at the same place, right? Like when we're born. Okay, so we all have the same start. So I also have a sticker with me right here that says start. So this is the start of the maze, just like any other maze or path that you have ever done. So our Christian lives start somewhere in between here, right? Depending on when you accept salvation. Now, our job is to get from a start to the end. Now you can see that this maze is drawn on here on this tray. Now I can try really hard, and I will in just a minute for laughs, okay? I can try really hard to stay on the path that's laid out for me on my own but I'm not really good at it. Um, it's like in life when we know the right things to do and say, but sometimes our feelings get in the way or we're not strong enough or wise enough, or maybe we're just hungry, right? Um, so in the life we mess up or we get out of line. So if you just humor me for a moment, I'm gonna attempt to do this maze on my own in my own strength, okay? So wish me luck. Remember, this marble represents us. Hi everyone, yes, that's weird, stop doing that, okay? So we're gonna start at the start and I'm gonna try on my very own to glorify God, okay? And get in this maze. So here I go, okay? I'm pretty talented. I already messed up. Okay, wait, again, again, I'm gonna try again. Okay, got this, I got this, I got this. Self-control, self-control, so, yep, nope. I'm maybe Mr. Mr. Andrew, you should have done this, you're, you're better. Okay, I'm pretty good with self-control, but I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. See, that's where conviction our condemnation can come in somewhere along our maze, but how do we know which is which? Let's look at what the Bible says. That's always the best thing to do. In Romans 8, 1 and 2, God's word says this, so now there is no condemnation for those who belong to Christ Jesus. And because you belong to him, the power of the life-giving spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. The Holy Spirit is our helper. He is the one who comes alongside of us. He is there to help us 
in our weakness. Now let's look back at our maze. This original maze, remember, is like life without the help of the Holy Spirit. What would happen if we added some help? Do you remember how unsuccessful I was? So what we're going to do is I'm gonna add some help from the Holy Spirit or our Play-Doh today. So hang out with me as I bedazzle our maze a little bit. Okay, now I have added some wonderful Play-Doh here for us. Now this Play-Doh represents the Holy Spirit, okay? So now we have some help. The Holy Spirit is like the bumpers I have created with Play-Doh. He helps us know when we're going the wrong way. That that is conviction. It's the reminder that we have stepped out of line and guides us back to the right direction. Conviction leads us anywhere, only towards the goal of glorifying God here at the end of our maze. So when you do something that isn't right, or you lose your temper, or you tell someone something that isn't true, and you feel that little ache in your stomach, that is the Holy Spirit helping you identify that there's something that you need to do to get back on the path. So then what is condemnation? We know that the Holy Spirit is like our bumper, so condemnation is like this roadblock. Okay, looks kind of cool, but it's not a good thing, all right? It tells you things like you're not good enough, right? Or that maybe you're too far gone. Like maybe the thing that you did was just so bad that no one can ever maybe forgive you. So it's kind of like this roadblock right here. We're gonna add that you're too far gone, right? But the only problem with these roadblocks, they don't seem like that big of a deal, but the problem with these roadblocks is that they can, keep, they can keep us from getting to our end goal of glorifying God, right? But we need to understand something, that these roadblocks have been put here with no authority. See, Jesus already paid for that mistake. Jesus already paid for that thing that we did that wasn't right. Jesus already set us free from those things. So I can actually remove these roadblocks. See, Jesus already made a way for us. Now, as long as we share our mistakes with people that we trust and we ask for forgiveness, those roadblocks don't stand a chance. So let's take a look and fingers crossed, hopefully I do a really good job huh, of our maze, okay? And then we're gonna see what happens when we have a little bit of help with the Holy Spirit with none of those road blocks, okay? So whew, here we go. Okay, so I'm starting at the start. There we go, ooh, hit a roadblock, that's okay. All right, here we go, here we go. We didn't remove, oh, there we go, perfect. Perfect, okay, almost there guys. Oh, we almost did it, almost did it. I did it! This is a miracle, this is actually really good. See, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can make it to our end glow of glorifying God. Now, I want us to remember something really important. A bad choice doesn't make us bad. We just have to get up and brush ourselves off and get back on that path that God has for you.